Chapter 2611, Impassioned Bestial Blood, 2. In the previous Beast Tide, Leek Xiao I came to know that the cooperation between magical beasts and human beings could reach the realm of perfection, but there were still limits. There were only several million human soldiers, and most of them had only some low level and intermediate level magical beasts. These magical beasts were very weak when pting against the legion of demon beasts. More powerful magical beasts, such as high level and mythological level ones, would rarely take the initiative to sign a contract with humans. Even now, the number of mythological beasts that had signed a contract with humans in the Radiance continent was quite small, but high level and mythological level magical beasts were the main getting force against the demon beasts. If Kylan and the others could persuade those powerful magical beasts in seclusion, that would be great for their side. What was more, in addition to the mythological level magical beasts, the amount of high level, Intermediate level and low level magical beasts that didn't have a contract with human beings was also very large. It would not be so terrible if they could put them together against the demon beast army of the devil race. All right. It's not yet too late yet. Arrange it as soon as possible. Shen Yang Xiao immediately agreed to this approach. What they lacked most right now was combat strength. The gap between the allied troops and the devil army was too large. If they could get the assistance of the magical beasts, they could greatly shorten this gap. Vermilion Bird, sorry you have to go to a lot of trouble. Shen Yang Xiao looked down at Vermilion Bird and spoke up. Vermilion Bird snorted proudly, it's not about going to a lot of trouble. It's being born under an ill star. Who told me to end such a stupid woman as you to be my master? But, for your sake, I will reluctantly give it a try. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and rubbed Vermilion Bird's little head. Vermilion Bird, do you have some assurance? Yan Yu asked aloud. Vermilion Bird looked positive, although I dare not say that we can gather all magical beasts in the Radiance Continent. There should be no problem in bringing millions of magical beasts here. Magical beasts have their own territory, and there will always be one most powerful magical beast that rules every territory. If we are really going to persuade other magical beasts to join us, we don't need to ND them one by one. We just need to ND the leader of each mountain and give them a beating. Then, there will be no problem. The million bird looked relaxed, but what he said stunned other people and beasts present. Give them a beating then there would be no problem. This was not what they thought at all. Where did the persuasion go? What's the point of creating more chaos? Are you sure you are persuading? Not making enemies? Yang Zai raised his eyebrow slightly. Why did he feel that Million Bird's method was so familiar? It seemed that Shen Yang Xiao did the same when the Rising Sun City was just built and was about to expand to other cities. First call out the demon boss of the city, beat him directly and then talk about cooperation. Indeed, what kind of master race is what kind of magical beast? Shen Yang Xiao and Vermilion Bird were both sharks in the same water, with simple and crude methods. Making enemies is under the condition that the two sides have equal strength. But for those shrimps and crabs, if the six of us can't beat them up together, we can just collectively slit our own throats. Vermilion Bird raised his eyebrows in a very arrogant way. Don't joke around. They were now holy beasts, the holy beast that was rarely seen in thousands of years. And as soon as one appeared, there were six of them. Don't talk about Kting. It was likely that the moment they stopped at the entrance of the cave of the magical beast, the dominating magical beast in the cave would have already wet his pants in fear. Okay? Yang Zai coughed. He could sense that after Vermilion Bird nished saying this sentence, as your dragon, who was staying in his body, had already agreed with him with a nod. Chapter 2612, Younger Brother, 1. Mythological beasts and high-level magical beasts were now reduced to what Vermilion Bird called shrimps and crabs. If those magical beasts knew, would they cry? God knew how many humans were waiting hopefully for the pity of those shrimps and crabs, but their family's magical beasts didn't even take them seriously in the slightest. With Bayan's promise and Vermilion Bird's impassioned speech, Shen Yang Xiao's depression had long since vanished. As long as we work as one, there's nothing we can't get through. I, Shen Yang Xiao, toast to everybody. Shen Yang Xiao got up, picked up the glass of wine 
and drank it. The people and magical beasts at the table stood up as well and drank with her. Having difficulties in life was not bad. What was terrible was not having the courage to face these difficulties. Please go and support our new domain mangabob.com. Thanks. Shen Yangtze Ao was very lucky because she had met so many companions who were willing to share her trials and tribulations with them. Would there still be anything to worry about? They drank the whole night and it wasn't until dawn that these drunken people went home. Shen Yang Xiao drank a lot, but her heart was led with happiness. She went out of the restaurant and saw that Bian, Yazi, and Toti had set to. They had already started their journey to end their remaining brothers. By the time they came back, they would no longer be just three gears. Hey, you drank so much, be careful of Lord Xu scolding you. Vermilion Bird held Shen Yang Xiao, whose steps were somewhat unsteady, even though his mouth was complaining. The hands supporting Shen Yang Xiao never loosened a bit, I'm happy. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled, Sister, do you want me to take you back? Lan Feng Lai came out only after the crowd had left. He saw Shen Yang Xiao and Vermilion Bird and asked. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai's increasingly handsome face and could hardly remember the childish face that looked cold and murderous when she RST met him. Little Feng, I have something to say to you. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes. Perhaps due to the innuance of alcohol, she felt it was about time to talk to Lan Feng Lai. Sister can tell me anything. Little Feng will listen. Lan Feng Lai responded obediently and looked at Shen Yang Xiao with some worry. Since Shen Yang Xiao arrived at the restaurant, he always thought that the way Shen Yang Xiao looked at him was sort of strange, but he did not know why. Do you still remember when you RST met me? Shen Yang Xiao asked. Lan Feng Lai nodded. He would never forget that day in his whole life. When he knew nothing, it was Shen Yang Xiao's face that RST came into view. From that moment on, this face forever left a mark on his heart that could never be erased. For many years, he stood silently behind Shen Yang Xiao, watching her back and remembering the little things whenever they were together. Do you know what happened before then? Shen Yang Xiao asked again. Lan Feng Lai hesitated and did not respond. Shen Yang Xiao said to him, do you know why you have amnesia? As she spoke, Shen Yang Xiao pointed to Vermilion Bird who was supporting her. Vermilion Bird knocked you out. The RST time I saw you, you were killing a Uncle Ju's group. I then let Vermilion Bird attack you in a hurry. I didn't expect you to lose your memory at that time, and I never thought that you would treat me as your elder sister. Little Feng, maybe you don't remember. But in the beginning, we stood on their opposite sides. Do you remember Uyang Huaniu? He created you, just like me. Everything was just a mistake due to a strange combination of circumstances. And now, after all these years, I am proud to have a younger brother like you. You are the best younger brother I will ever have. There is going to be a war soon and it will be very dangerous. No one knows whether we can survive or not, so I don't want to keep this from you anymore. Chapter 2613, Younger Brother, 2 CH. 2613, Younger Brother, 2 Do you think I'm very despicable? I have been deceiving you all along, after all, letting you call me sister. Little Feng, if you want to leave, I will not stop you. Thank you very much for the care you've given me for so many years. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai with a smile on her face. Lan Feng Lai should not appear in this battle. Without that accident, he would still be under Uyang Huaniu. Uyang Huaniu would certainly treasure his experimental subject. However, everything happened so inexplicably. Lan Feng Lai became her younger brother, her patron saint, and her minion. Over the years, Shen Yang Xiao had always felt ashamed of herself. She might be able to face anyone frankly. But only Lan Feng Lai made her feel indebted. After giving so much for her, she was the perpetrator of his amnesia. Wasn't that ridiculous? Shen Yang Xiao was smiling, but Lan Feng Lai could not feel the smile in her eyes. Lan Feng Lai quietly looked at Shen Yang Xiao. The long silence made the atmosphere gloomy. Well, in fact, I couldn't beat you before, so I was always worried that you would get revenge after you regained your memory, but now, ha, you can't beat me. So I can rest assured, your sister is really, 
despicable, isn't she? Shen Yang Xiao let out a wry smile. She didn't know what kind of reaction the little brat she had picked up would give. In fact, when she decided to let Lan Feng Lai stay by her side, please go and support our new domain mangabob.com. Thanks. Cheek Xia and her family objected once they knew the whole story. After all, Lan Feng Lai's strength was overwhelming at that time. Once he regained his memory, very terrible things would probably erupt. But Shen Yang Xiao stubbornly kept Lan Feng Lai beside her. She could not abandon someone who sincerely thought they were her younger brother while looking at her with expectant eyes. Only, Shen Yang Xiao did not think that she would tell Lan Feng Lai the truth herself RSD before he regained his memory. Lan Feng Lai looked at Shen Yang Xiao. Just as Shen Yang Xiao's voice landed to the ground, he suddenly stepped forward and raised his hand. Shen Yang Xiao closed her eyes. No matter what little Feng wanted to do now, she was willing to bear it. Even if he wanted to beat her up, she would receive this beating. To tell the truth, it was really a bad feeling to cheat your own loved ones. However, the pain she was anticipating did not appear, instead Shen Yang Xiao was wrapped in a warm embrace. Sister is not despicable, you are the best sister. Lan Feng Lai hugged Shen Yang Xiao and whispered in her ear. Shen Yang Xiao received a slight shock. I remember everything, I remember everything. I don't have amnesia. Lan Feng Lai suddenly uttered a surprising remark. Shen Yang Xiao widened her eyes, leaned back slightly, and looked at Lan Feng Lai's pain led face in surprise. It's not sister who lied to me. It is I who lied to sister. I have never lost my memory. I just didn't want to go back there. Lan Feng Lai's brows wrinkled with pain. Everyone thought he had lost his memory, but that was not really the case. With his physical strength, a million birds' impact could not have caused him so much trauma. All of this was written, directed, and performed on his own. He just didn't want to go back to the place that made him sick, so he used Shen Yang Xiao to get rid of everything from the past. At RST, Lan Feng Lai only wanted to take shelter for a while with Shen Yang Xiao. He never thought that he would really have a brother-sister relationship with her. In that gloomy laboratory, he had sewered from the most terrible things in the world, and he had already stopped believing in anyone. Chapter 2614, Younger Brother, 3 CH 2614, Younger Brother, 3 However, Shen Yang Xiao gradually broke Lan Feng Lai's thoughts to pieces. When he saw that she really regarded him as her younger brother, took him to greet Shen Feng, and told him that he was her younger brother, Lan Feng Lai's dead heart felt warm for the RST time. His silence was for fear that his concealment would be exposed, but, even so, Shen Yang Xiao never gave up on him. No matter where she went, she took him with her. She really treated him like her own blood-related younger brother. His frozen heart melted little by little, and he nearly chose to stay beside Shen Yang Xiao and continue to be her younger brother. Therefore, it was not Shen Yang Xiao who had deceived him, it was he who had deceived her. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai with disbelief. She never thought it would be like this. It was me who was too despicable, taking advantage of you. Lan Feng Lai lowered his head and bit his lip. He thought the truth would be buried forever, but he didn't expect that Shen Yang Xiao would tell him everything at this time. Lan Feng Lai was not a fool. Please go and support our new domain mangabob.com. Thanks. He knew that Shen Yang Xiao told him the truth just before the beginning of their war in order to let him make a choice for his life. She no longer wanted him to take risks for her. If Shen Yang Xiao really were so sh he could continue to hide it and, with Lan Feng Lai's dependence on her, Shen Yang Xiao would not hesitate to let him deal with Yandi, the most powerful of the devil generals, but she did not do so. She risked losing a powerful ally in order to stop deceiving and taking advantage of him. Shen Yang Xiao really loved him as if he were her real younger brother. Can I still call you sister? Lan Feng Lai raised his head and looked anxiously at Shen Yang Xiao. He already thought of himself as her younger brother forever. Shen Yang Xiao paused for a while. The expectation in Lan Feng Lai's eyes dimmed. He was very afraid. He was afraid that Shen Yang Xiao would turn a deaf ear to him after discovering his despicable behavior. Shen Yang Xiao's current reaction further widened the fear in his heart. Idiot. 
Just when Lan Feng Lai was in despair, Chen Yang Xiao suddenly raised her hand and knocked him on the head. Once we're brother and sister, we're brother and sister for the rest of our lives. The fact that you are my younger brother will never change. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. This time, her smile was real. She didn't mind Lan Feng Lai's careful plot at all. She was even glad that Lan Feng Lai did such a thing at the beginning. If not, wouldn't she have lost the best younger brother in the world? Lan Feng Lai looked at Shen Yang Xiao dumbly. You deceived me once, I deceived you once. We're even. Thanks to my little brother who has excellent acting skills. Shen Yang Xiao presumptuously pinched Lan Feng Lai's handsome face. She had such a pleasing and very powerful younger brother. There was not enough time for her to be happy. How could she not want him? Lan Feng Lai smiled. His smile carried a little shyness, but it went straight to his eyes. The pair of brother and sister, who had been living in guilt, Nelly opened up and untied the knots in their hearts today. True feelings could withstand any test. Not everything could fall apart. Ah. Little Feng's shyness is really irresistible. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai's slightly red cheek and joked. Lan Feng Lai's face became redder. Vermilion Bird, who had been silent for a long time, could only sigh helplessly. Where did the bitterness go? How could this pair of brother and sister return to normal in a minute? And his master was even playing tricks with her younger brother. Ah, what resilient minds. Chapter 2615, Can You Not Be So Shameful? Ch. 2615, Can You Not Be So Shameful? 1. It was true that Lan Feng Lai hid the truth and it was true that he had carefully plotted everything, but his obedience to Shen Yang Xiao was also true. The million bird felt as though the killing god had incarnated as a normal teenager a day ago. Upon seeing Lan Feng Lai again the next morning, he couldn't help but wonder if what he had seen yesterday was just a dream after all. Was the teenager sitting in the city lord residence's living room with the face of a glacier that was turning a blind eye to other guests really the same guy as yesterday? Vermilion Bird felt that he had drunk too much and had hallucinations. The fellow was still as infuriating as ever. Everyone in his eyes was still like damn air. It was not until Shen Yang Xiao appeared that Lan Feng Lai raised his head and followed her closely. That meant, Lan Feng Lai's practices before were not due to acting at all, but his nature. Vermilion Bird felt very tired. Everyone is here. Please go and support our new domain mangabob.com. Thanks. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and looked at Chi Xia and the others who were sitting in the hall, as well as Kailin and the other beasts who were beside them in their human forms. Bian, Yazi and Toti set out yesterday. Today. Kylan contacted the husband and wife Phoenixes and came to the city lord residence to bid farewell to Shen Yang Xiao before they took the road of tormenting all magical beasts. The Phoenix couple was the RSD magical beast pair to follow Shen Yang Xiao. They had been guarding their rising sun city with their own strength. As they were about to go on a long journey, they reluctantly held the little phoenix in their arms and said goodbye, although their own little brat rushed to the arms of Million Bird early in the morning, as its own parents, they really didn't mind. The three members of the phoenix family over there were happy and harmonious. Here, a few holy beasts, together with their owners, were staging tragic scenes. Black Tortoise, you, are, you must remember to think of me when you leave. Remember to write me a letter. This is the RST time you have left me for a long time. I will miss you. Take good care of yourself. Outside, don't get wet. Don't eat anything dirty. Don't tang as he desperately took Black Tortoise's hand and tearfully reminded him of a long list of things, so that the listening Black Tortoise's mouth was twitching. It must be known that they were just going to summon all the magical beasts. But if one didn't know, they would think they were going to be the vanguard to attack the devil army in advance. Looking at his stupid master crying snot and tears, as a magical beast, he was embarrassed. Okay, didn't this guy notice that? The other magical beasts and humans present were looking at them in a strange way. Could this fellow please grow up? Could he stop acting as if he were going to a dangerous place? And what did he mean? write him a letter, who had seen a magical beast write letters, although Black Tortoise wanted to slap his stupid master to death very much. 
he tried his best to restrain himself after seeing his master's swollen eyes. Tang Nazi's cries that pierced through heaven and earth left several other phantom members very embarrassed. Kylin glanced at the tangled black tortoise and turned to look at Cheeksia. If you dare to do such a shameful thing, I'll kill myself. Cheeksia chuckled, patted Kylin on the shoulder, and said, come back early. Then, he shut his mouth again. His message was really rather concise. Eight-headed serpent haughtily crossed his hands over his chest, looked at the stupid pair of human and magical beast, and very disdainfully said, that idiot is really your brother? Li Xiao I touched his nose with some embarrassment, a wry smile on his face. He wanted to say no, but would anyone believe it? It's a good thing you weren't born to the same mother, who knows if idiocy can be contagious. Eight-headed serpent unleashed his poisonous tongue. Li Xiao I felt a little like crying. Chapter 2616, Can You Not Be So Shameful? 2. Yang Xi and Azure Dragon sympathized with Black Tortoise very much, but they could only sympathize, that was all. Meanwhile, the pair standing next to them didn't seem to be any better than Tang Nazi and Black Tortoise, either. White Tiger's tall body covered Yan Yu's thin gear. His powerful, Big hands held Yan Yu's small white ones and his eyebrows were tightly knit. Yan Yu looked at White Tiger's tangled expression and wondered if he should say something. While I'm not here, you have to take good care of yourself. Don't get cold, don't tire yourself out. Your body has just been cured, you have to take good care of it. White Tiger's mood was very gloomy. He was about to go on a long journey. What he couldn't let go of most was his fragile master. In that beast tide, the sight of Yan Yu's illness arring up had been deeply imprinted in his mind, leaving him uneasy. Yan Yu looked at White Tiger in distress. His illness had been cured for some time already, but White Tiger had always taken care of him like he was a fragile glass oar fearing that he might bump into something and break. He was even more nervous about his safety than Yan Yu's mother. I actually have Yan Yu just wanted to appease White Tiger, but White Tiger had already spoken, stay away from dangerous guys, just stay at home until I come back. Having said that, White Tiger also raised his tiger's claw and touched Yan Yu's head. Being patted on the head by your own magical beast, was this something he should be proud of? Yan Yu wanted to cry a little. He was innocent. He was really not that fragile anymore. But looking at White Tiger's sincere eyes, Yan Yu could only endure his grief and silently nod his head. Don't you think that's a weird picture? Who knew when Chi Xia came to Yang Xi's side, he would fold his arms and lean against Yang Xi, staring at Yan Yu and White Tiger with a smile. The corner of Yang Xi's mouth twitched slightly. Of course, he knew what Cheeksia meant. The situation of Yan Yu and White Tiger had the roles of Tang Nazi and Black Tortoise completely swapped, but such a reversed picture was really too weird. Looking at White Tiger's attentive care of Yan Yu, if one didn't know better, they would think they had sorted out gender and racial issues and had a great love where, looking at the innocent girl appearance of their families are you, and looking at White Tiger's worried expression. Wasn't this just the picture of a husband about to go out, feeling uneasy about the wife he would leave behind? I hope Ah you will not hear what you just said. Li Xiao I had been depressed to the extreme under the blow of his eight-headed serpent. He came to his companion's side and jumped into the conversation. He thought that his master's subordinate relationship with this eight-headed serpent was the weirdest of all. That man seemed to think of himself the boss. All right. Naturally, his family's white tiger still has to talk to him about a lot of things. Where does he have the time to listen to us? Cheeksia smiled wickedly. They had nished saying goodbye. Several magical beasts had bid their farewells to their own masters in different ways, but the results were the same. They were about to leave, and they would be separated from this group of people for a while. Although they were magical beasts that had all lived for tens of thousands of years, they had to say that this interesting group of young people were really the best masters they had ever had. Otherwise, they would not be willing to travel across mountains and rivers just to help them end some reinforcements. Amid Tang Nazi's wailing, Kylin, Black Tortoise, Vermilion Bird, Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Eight-Headed Serpent, and the Phoenix couple nearly embarked on their journey. When they returned again, they would bring millions of magical beasts as troops behind them. 
Chapter 2617, What is called Formidable. The bugle of battle was about to be blown. Shen Yangxia took this time to begin building sacred tools for the rulers of the several major races. Sacred tools had always been the exclusive property of human beings and dwarves. Both the Elf King and Yaksha wondered whether Shen Yangxia could really make sacred tools suitable for other races. But when they got the sacred tools in the end, their worldview was completely overturned. Even Yaksha, who had always maintained a sullen and unsmiling face, froze when he saw the sacred tool that had been made just for him. It was a long black sword with a slender blade, which looked almost no different from an ordinary long sword, but when he held it in his hand, he could feel the resonance between this blade and himself. This is called Yakshaw's blade. It's yours. This was what Shen Yangxia told Yakshaw. She named the sword after Yakshaw. The shape of the sword's blade was based on Azura's blade. Even though Shen Yangxia was sort of speechless about the relationship between Yakshaw and Xu, she knew very well that deep down, Yakshaw quite admired Xu. Therefore, Shen Yangxia, as the Empress of the Palace, was very delighted to create a blade paired with her answers for her yet to marry husband's favorite man. This was called magnanimity. She wouldn't lower herself to the level of a male undead. Yakshaw, who received the Yakshaw's blade, actually looked at Shen Yangxia with a much gentler gaze. The sacred tool of the elf king was a golden scepter. The scepter shone exceptionally in the sun, perfectly matching the temperament and image of this king. The elf king who had never been moved by favor or dishonor, immediately fell in love with this scepter. If he learned that this scepter was based on the one preserved in the last temple, he might faint with excitement. Zayan's sacred tool was a bracelet of blue crystals connected together with a string. The blue crystals were made of water elements condensed by the water elemental spirit. Even without the help of the sea, Zayan would still be able to summon huge waves through the collected water elements to protect herself. Beautiful things always made women crazy, and Zayan was no exception. When she got the bracelet, she threw herself in Shen Yangxiao's arms in joy. The one Shen Yangxiao prepared for Daodu was a pair of steel claws. They would usually be the size of a human palm. But when Daodu incarnated as an eight-winged golden dragon, the pair of steel claws would also change and become the size of his dragon claws. Meng Meng Chi's sacred tool was much smaller. It was a group of small spherical objects, but one couldn't look down on it, for its power was quite terrifying. Shen Yang Xiao fused it with the element of lightning through the help of the lightning elemental spirit. The lightning element would be activated once the sacred tool was used. The most powerful thing was that Meng Men Chi could throw the sacred tool out directly if he encountered a threat to his life. The sacred tool would explode directly and countless lightning elements would scorch everything in its path. The energy of the explosion was unpredictable. Simply put, this was a small nuclear bomb. In this world, absolute destruction was the most deadly sacred tool. Several rulers had all received their own sacred tools and were very grateful to Shen Yangxiao. If it weren't for Shen Yangxiao's special status as the human leader, they would certainly have been unable to wait to invite Shen Yangxiao to join their race. In the world, Shen Yangxiao was the only one who could make sacred tools for the undead, elves, dwarves, merfolk, and dragons. Truly such a precious specimen. Chapter 2618, What is called Formidable, 2. Apart from the several rulers, Shen Yangxiao also planned to provide each race with a certain number of sacred tools. There was still some time before the attack of the devil race. She could seize this limited time to build sacred tools for more allies and the choice of to whom this batch of sacred tools would be given was left to the rulers of the major races. This time, Xu did not stop Shen Yangxiao's madness. Of course, Shen Yangxiao did not forget her family and friends. Needless to say, the members of Million Bird Clan, from Shen Feng, Shen Ling, Shen Jing, Shen Yu, and Wen Ya to Shen Jiui, Shen Ku, and her father's dragon friend, Long She, would also be equipped with the best sacred tools. Even the elves of the Moonlight tribe had received the key attention of Shen Yangxiao because they were her grandmother's family. Meng Meng Chi, on the other hand, gave up this privilege of the dwarves and did not let the dwarves ask for the sacred tools made by Shen Yangxiao. The dwarves were the masters at making sacred tools, 
so it was really not appropriate for them to add to the burden of Shen Yang Xiao. Everyone could see that Shen Yang Xiao wore herself out in the laboratory all day long, constantly building sacred tools for the members of each major race without pause. Several elemental spirits were also very cooperative, constantly providing the elemental force for Shen Yang Xiao. Under such high intensity work, Meng Meng Chi did not want to add any work. Shen Yang Xiao's side was constantly busy and others were not idle, either. The Elf King led the Elves to reinforce the Archer Towers and adjust the positions of the towers in the main cities of the Barren Land. Compared with human beings, the Elves were more prosient in using the Archer Towers. After all, Meng Meng Chi led his own clan of Dwarves to continuously build more top-tier smelting products within the laboratory provided by Shen Yang Xiao, arming every big city in the Barren Land from head to toe. Yakshaw gathered all the elite among the undead outside the major cities in the barren land to infuse the moat with their death energy, turning the clear and harmless water into a formidable, highly toxic and corrosive attack weapon. Under the guidance of Yang Sai, student Dao Du took the dragons to Wai around the barren land, helping Suhi's mining team transport or. In addition, dwarven alchemists, human fudgemen, and elf forging masters jointly created ensive and defensive tools. These things were not only for the use of the army in this area of the barren land, but also for the other four countries, free of charge. Amid the intense preparations, joyful relationships also bloomed. Some dwarves who were crazy about potions had already established deep friendship with human and elf pharmacists. Human archers had also been learning archery together with the elves for a long time. The end result of the alliance was that the gting capacity of the entire alliance army had soared by several grades. Shen Yang Xiao's plan was not wrong. Her idea was correct. Although each major race had its own characteristics, Combining these together and making use of all available resources would bring them to great heights. A month and a half after Shen Yang Xiao's return, the members of the Silver Hands that had headed for the entrance of the underworld hurried back. As early as Shen Yang Xiao's return, Kinch had already arranged for Ge King Ming and Su Fuan to take some members skilled in stealth to go there and keep an eye on the devils but they dared not get too close and could only explore outside the valley to see if the devils had left. Today, when they returned, they brought nerve-wracking information. The devils were heading out of the valley. Chapter 2619, Final Deployment 1. The movement of the devil army indicated that the war was coming. The devil race already understood the current situation of the Radiance Continent and so they had nearly stepped out of the valley and were ready to start the war. Shen Yang Xiao was sitting in the hall, her expression didn't look very good. The devil army had moved faster than she had expected. Toti and his team had not yet returned. The million birds plan to persuade the magical beasts had not yet been completed. But the devil race already couldn't wait any longer. The bugle of the war would be blown once the devil army launched an attack. From now on, the barren land will enter a state of full alert. Shen Yang Xiao squinted her eyes and gave the null instructions before the battle. Elf King, please take your elf people to the Seven Kingdoms. Shen Yang Xiao looked at the Elf King as she told him this. The Seven Kingdoms were made up of seven small countries. Whether it was the distribution of troops or cities, they were not as concentrated as other countries. Therefore, the elves were the most suitable to go to the Seven Kingdoms due to their great agility and mobility. With their ability and the geographical location of the Seven Kingdoms, they could make good use of the cities of the Seven Kingdoms to consume the troops of the Devil Race. The Elves will listen to the leader's arrangement at any time. The Elf King got up, clenched his left hand against his right chest, and bowed slightly and devoutly in front of Shen Yang Xiao. As early as the moment Shen Yang Xiao returned, she had already become the leader of the entire alliance army. Xi'an, together with our friends of the Merfolk race, immediately go to the Lan Yuai dynasty. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Xi'an. Leaving the sea area, the Gting capacity of the Merfolk had been greatly reduced. The Lan Yuai dynasty was close to the sea, and the distribution of rivers and lakes in that piece of land was much denser than that in other countries. That place was appropriate to become the main battlefield of the Mer people. Even without the sea, the rivers and lakes in the Lan Yuai dynasty would provide them with enough water to GHT. As Merfolk accept the order, Xi'an got up, 
lifted her skirt and knelt down on one knee. Meng Meng Chi, the Divine Wind Alliance is yours. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Meng Meng Chi, Divine Wind Alliance had the strongest individual combat strength and was good at direct combat. The mechanical puppets of the dwarves could be integrated into the mercenaries. Moreover, the individual strength of the dwarves was relatively weak. To a certain extent, the Divine Wind Alliance mercenaries could also escort the dwarves and allow their alchemy to play a greater role. The dwarves follow the leader's orders. Meng Meng Chi also got up and knelt down on one knee. Dao Du. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Dao Du with some hesitation. Dao Du's situation was different from that of other leaders. Apart from his status as the leader of the dragon race, he had another position, Yang Zai's dragon partner. If Dao Du led the dragons to go to another country, Yang Zai would lose a comrade in arms. Dao Du stood up and looked at Shen Yang Xiao seriously waiting for her orders. Shen Yang Xiao sighed softly, although she had hoped to allow more combat forces to stay with her friends. Dao Du, you are to lead the dragons to the Long Xuan Empire. The Long Xuan Empire could be said to be the weakest point of the current Radiance continent, because the inaction of the last emperor had left the military power of the Long Xuan Empire behind. Shen Yang Xiao could only garrison the strongest race, the dragons, in the Long Xuan Empire to ensure that her homeland could withstand the attack of the devils. The dragon race accepts the order. Dao suddenly knelt down on one knee and replied with force that once upon a time cowardly and fragile little golden dragon had been reborn as a resolute dragon emperor. Chapter 2620, Final Deployment, 2. Yakshaw, you will be staying here. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Yakshaw, of the Valid races, she only kept, the undead in the barren land. The Gding strength of the undead might not be the strongest, but it was the most suitable for a war of attrition, as long as there were countless bones and bodies. The undead could continuously resurrect more troops. The reason why the undead did not create a fearsome undead army in the past war between the gods and devils was not that they could not but that the divine power of the gods puried the bones of the dead to a great extent and made the undead unable to use them, but now that the undead and the gods were in the same camp, this restriction would be completely broken. The purification would not occur, and the resurrected undead would become the most terrible force. The barren land was the main battle yield against the devil race this time, and it would be led with the smell of death, which would provide the undead with the most perfect location for resurrection. The undead army would eventually rise from hell. Understood. Yakshaw got up and knelt respectfully in front of Shen Yang Xiao. This was the RST time he had listened sincerely to the voice of others, apart from the Lord God and the War God. Mer people, elves, dragons, dwarves, you must all leave at once. I have already conveyed the news to the kings of the four countries. I hope you can GHT together and keep the peace of our world. Shen Yang Xiao said on a roll, as long as the barren land doesn't fall, as long as the rising sun city isn't destroyed, the main force of the devil army will never set foot on the land of another country, you must hold on, the ursist battle would be borne by her barren land, the wrath of the devils would be resisted by her barren land, the hall was silent, and all eyes were on Shen Yang Xiao, this teenage human girl had become the key gear in this war against the devil army, with her thin shoulder, she had carried the banner of war against the devil race. If they hadn't experienced this personally, no one could have imagined that such a young girl could have done all this. It was like a dream, it felt unreal, yet it actually happened in front of their eyes. Accepting Shen Yang Xiao's orders, the four major races immediately set off for the four countries. Elves, dwarves, merpeople, and dragons. More and more allies left the barren land for the four positions within the Radiance continent, the Nile deployment before the war. The citizens of the barren land cities wept and bid farewell to their foreign partners who had been with them for months. No one knew whether they would have the chance to meet again. Previous table of content next login. Return to info slash three. No one could predict how long this battle would take and no one could predict whether they would survive in this battle. This might be the last parting, so they looked at one another for a much longer time. The armies of the foreign races left, one after another. The heavy footsteps and voices were heard in people's hearts. All the human beings, demons, 
and the undead who had stayed in the barren land all stepped on the walls and watched their allies' backs as they departed. The moment of war would come soon, the departure of the armies of each major race had ignited the smoke of the battle. When the smoke had spread to the sky, this was the moment when they would take up arms and ght, victory begat life, defeat begat death. No retreat, no surrender, no regrets. They vowed to live or die with the barren land.